taking going on now. Here we go. We've got three very hardworking girls here. And just, this is your day job at Wimbledon, right? Yeah, we're doing this for two weeks. Um, taking in turns, taking the stems off the top of the strawberries and then selling them at the tills. <laughs> Exciting. So you, you do get a bit of action up front by the till as well? Yeah, we do. But the downside of working in here, obviously, is very tempting to eat the strawberries all the time. What's, what's, the, what's the law on strawberry eating? How many are, are able to get away with? Probably none. How many do you actually eat a day? Oh, nothing. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> They're not going to admit to anything. Right, girls, we're going to play a little game. We've got Holly, Jenny and Natalia here. They do this pretty much all day, every day at Wimbledon. So, in my mind, they've got to be pretty quick at it. So I'm going to see. We're going to have a little... Um, Strawberry challenge, I think. We're going to have a little challenge. If we could all get a full full packet, a full punnet of strawberries in front of you, we're going to see which one of these girls can compete for the prestigious title of champion strawberry topper. I think might be the might be the term, strawberry topper. They prepare these strawberries in simple terms. They take, they take the green bits off and get them ready, as Frank can show you here, to go out to market, to the tills. Just tell me something, girls. I hear, Jenny, there's a bit of competition over different techniques of how to get this down the quickest. Some of us actually just take top off with our fingers, and some of us use a knife. And yeah, there's. Let me, let me see. You're you're not. You do you use the knife technique. I used to, but now I do with other things. And now we're getting serious with the competition. She's going to use the the non knife technique. Okay, girls. Producer Ross is on standby. He's going to record you. We're going to just see who can go the quickest, and what the speed time is. Are you ready? Yeah. On your marks. Ready, Ross. Get set. Go. Oh my God, they're off. I've never seen anything like it. Strawberry race is on. <laughs> Ross, I need time checks. Constant time checks. Coming up for 10 seconds, girls. Pressure's on. This is a, a, probably the biggest title you will compete for in your working career. Well, hang on. We've got a bit. Yeah, yeah. We can't have any bits left on here. This is a very strict process. I tell you what, it's head to head at the moment. All three girls are doing pretty well. This is, a, this is impressive stuff. See, oh, keep going. Keep, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I'll tell you what, Natalia's only got, oh, Holly's only got about four left. Jenny's only got two left. Jenny is coming up to her last strawberry. Yes. We've got a champion. Take a bow. Hang on a minute. We need, we need a, we need a confirmation on the time. 42 seconds. This has got to be our fastest ever, right? Well, I've never timed it before, but I will now. <laughs> First time for everything on Live at Wimbledon. Girls, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the championships. Don't eat too many strawberries, but we'll try and find as many strawberries as we can out on the ground. I know you like your strawberries, Matt. I wonder if Prince Charles likes strawberries, or even if he'll actually eat some of those strawberries that have been de thingied today. Anyway, um, Anne Kjotevong likes Prince Charles. Anne Kjotevong has said, Prince Charles is at Wimbledon. I was dying to shout out hello to him. Do you think he'd have known who she was? I'm sure he would have, yes. Do you think? Yes. Let's hope so. Um, I've got to ask you something, Matt, which I've been dying to ask you, because you were talking about Ivan Lendl mm. just now with Pat Cash. And what fascinates me as someone who loves all sports,